Howdy. How are you doing? So in this video, I just felt inclined to uh, release the messages from your spirit guides. I always talk about your spirit guides, ancestors, and all that in my normal general and love readings. And I figured why not just start doing some spirit guide messages as well for the zodiac sign. So, hey girl, beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent spirit guide messages. Uh, now, Aries, I also do your weekly general zodiac reading sign as well as your you versus them reading for your zodiac sign aries both weekly which i'll leave a link to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like aries but when it comes to any of my readings be sure to rely on your intuition aries because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you right you know your situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever aries and if you find some cards that resonate with you i would love for you to give me a like and subscribe subscribe Aries because it does help my help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me as well as be sure to share in the comments below which card called out to you the most which one resonated with you the most Aries because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments now Aries with all that in mind this reading here is just to give you some perspective I'm not here to make a decision in your life or speak for anybody or anything of that matter right just here for you to give it's here to give you some food for thought something for you to consider as you go throughout your days right so with all that being said, let's get into your urgent spirit guide messages with the overall messages that I have for you. So I pulled three, two oracle cards, Aries, as well as a tarot card. And then from there, we will just allow tarot to just take us on the journey of wherever it wants to take us, really, right? So starting this out, we have the snake spirit coming in, number 55 equaling to one for numerology, uh, Aries. This says, this says, time to heal interesting foreshadowing coming in here Aries because we also have the polar bear card stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the income so did I say income I said I meant to say outcome Aries so with this dynamic I say it's interesting because it's almost like one of you like some I say one some of you Aries are probably not using your voice or not speaking about something that's bothering you and when that happens a lot of things actually can happen you can start having th those thoughts can start festering um in your mind and you can start going into all sorts of narratives right you can start uh spiraling into a bunch of negative ones really hyper focusing on certain details Overall, what you're doing, Aries, is just giving yourself a bunch of anxiety. Um, I don't want to say for no reason, but, you know, when it's such an easy fix of just speaking how it, like, what it is is that's going on in your head, right, with the people around you, right, with the Three of Cups, because Three of Cups did come flying out for you, Aries. I'm going to be putting it back in after the fact, but it did come out while I was shuffling. So it is showing to me that there's probably, like, um, some people that you need to speak your truth about, um, something that's going on in the matters of the heart, I feel, because I feel like it's starting to weigh on you pretty heavily, Aries. I get this impression that, you know, because something's just like in your mind a little bit, um, it's just really taking you into this little spiral here. You have the High Priestess card coming in here, which interestingly enough, I see this I see this as a calling for you to connect more with your intuition, Aries. Now, I know for some of you, Aries, you probably will say, it's like, I already connect my higher intuition, our higher self, I already connect my spirit guides, and so on and so forth. That's wonderful, right? This message is going to be mainly for those that I just get the impression that you trying to connect with you, to your intuition, Aries, I get the fact, I get this impression that because you have like those narratives, those negative narratives going on, that's where your ego can like kind of slide in and pretend to be the high priestess card. You know, it's kind of like that devil energy. I wish I had the devil card with me right now so I could just bring it up. Actually, did I just see it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Um, but it's essentially kind of like your ego coming into play, sliding, seeing a opening and being able to be like, ah, this is this Aries is spiraling. Let me just slither on in here and pretend like I'm the intuition, right? And so you think you're relying on your intuition um, and it's continually feeding this uh, negative narrative. Now, you can confirm this or not, right? You can call me, you can really straight up just see if um, this part is relevant for you, Aries, by simply speaking up right if you think that you're listening to your intuition and that you're on the right track then you logically shouldn't have that many issues speaking to the people that are around you with that fear of cups energy what's going on in your head 
right? But when you start treating everything as if you kind of already know the answer, or you start treating things as if you already know how the other person is or what they're thinking and all that, that's a huge red flag for you to be thinking and considering, Aries, because the fact of the matter is we are all human. We do not know what's going on with Bob, Joe, Tim, Alan. Like, we don't know. You know, we just don't know. And the moment we start thinking that our intuition is telling us that we know what's going on with other people, that's a huge red flag for you to start considering because it's just it's just not the case 99.9% .9 of the time, right? If, every, if the world was so predictable, then the life would be so different, right? If you could predict people and their actions so easily, you would probably be the most powerful person in this world, right? And maybe you are, right? Maybe you're the most powerful person watching this reading, and then if so, hello, right? But I don't know, I just get this impression where spirits, for spirit to bring forward, forward that intuition card, it does tell me that um, you might think, because I always say, Aries, that your intuition is like um, the way for your spirit guides, you know, the otherworldly beings, ancestors, guardian, whatever it is you believe in, Aries, I see the intuition as the outlet that a lot of um, that spirit will usually take to try to communicate with you. So if they're really putting a hyper focus on that, Aries, it's probably good to like take uh, take apart like what's going on and like figure out what's going on mentally and how you're translating things. You know, look at we look at your relationship with not only your intuition but also your ego. All right. So interesting message right there, right off the bat pretty heavy <laughs> i know but i really do feel so strongly aries like once you were able to vocalize what's going on up here i really feel like it's going to bring forward so much clarity in your life when you have that three of cups come out it does let me know you have people that care about you aries so it just can't help but wonder why you not two of cups by the way the, when i'm splitting the deck um and the knight of swords so it's interesting right it's kind of essentially yeah um this is my own little appreciation as a terror nerd but um I just feel so much clarity will come from when you can finally put to rest what's going on in your head. Um, so enough of that. What else can we expect for Aries? What should we, what should Aries know for the coming future? What should Aries be prepared for? All right. I don't know if I, uh, should we take those? Yeah, I guess we're taking, I take, I guess we're taking all these cards, honey, Aries. You can't see it, but we're taking one, two, three. I can't even count this high, apparently. <laughs> seven cards honey we're taking seven cards for this so it's already going to be a loaded message so give me a moment aries as i break these cards down and figure out where these puzzle pieces go right so we have right now i'll just tell you the cards and show them to you as i figure it out as well we have the knave of cups coming in here or the knight of cups um really good card to have this is again speaking matters of emotions letting me know the judgment card comes in action being taken ten of wands this is that baggage that we were talking about aries um let's see here i'll put that there um we have the two of swords coming in makes sense i see this your guarded energy distrustful energy towards the ener connection ace of cups a distrustful energy towards something that you hold closely to you eight of swords five of discs yeah either is some type of feeling trapped in an environment aries feeling like everyone's out to get you it's a really mm, we're gonna have to be deep diving this this is not, definitely not for my areas that are a little bit sensitive because i know i'm about to step on some toes right spirit is your spirit guys are holding no nothing back with these messages but i really do look forward to this areas because it's like keep in mind i wanted to say i'm saying all this from a non-judgmental place because i feel like once you're able to come to awareness of this I oh, everything going on i feel like it's going to be such an easy switch for you to have areas so let's break this down where I have as like the precipice of the energy, if that even makes sense, like the main energy that's encompassing all these other cards, honey, is the Ten of Wands, right? We talked about that baggage with this um, going on here. It's this, it's this baggage that is allowing that spiral to happen or causing rather that spiral to happen, Aries. So it is just like, um, it is a matter that it's weighing heavy on you. And so my question is, Aries, what can we, like, what is this about, right? And this obviously it's a hypothetical question, but to me, I'm starting to get teary-eyed <laughs> because it's kind of like signifying to me that um, this has probably been something that's been going long a long time for you. And it's probably been like a struggle for you and more than just like this connection, whatever it is that you're having this narrative about, Aries. Um, I feel like this is something that's 
been a constant in your life of a repeating thing that has kind of stopped you from really allowing more depthful connections in your life right now i'm speaking in terms of a person this could easily be for career right but i'm going to continue on with the narrative of a person because that's just how i'm seeing it aries um we see how we're like so yeah this ten of wands is just like this long-term baggage something that's been a constant cycle in your life uh, how do we continue on with this so um, you do you do definitely feel distrustful of this energy aries there is this like you look at the imagery of this card my cat is if you notice i'm distracted my cat's over by my side every time i start doing a reading aries as a side note um she always just comes sitting next like sits next to me i always wonder what it is she thinks i'm doing when i'm just sitting here talking <laughs> and moving some cards right because i always talk to her but y'all didn't come here for that two of swords um you look at the imagery of this card right i feel like this is you too like when you guys are hugging or embracing or just even connecting i see this as you aries where it's just like there's this 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 distrustfulness where it's just like well honey why did you have to bring that knife here what's going on here right um it's just like you don't feel safe you don't feel like you can open up truly to this person but it's interesting because it's like you have the ace of cups coming in here you have no actually not this it's not it's the knight of cups coming in here because with this knight of cups this lets me know because i keep just like having a reference to that three of cups as well where it's like i feel like this is the person honestly aries i feel like this is the person i feel like this is the person that seemingly has like a lot of love to give but like you have like you look at this individual like she looks pretty rough right now i know some of my aries like you're gonna be into her like what's up the edsm community honey can i even say that on youtube we can now um yeah like kind of like a rough exterior um hermit card does come in um to complement this so they're probably a little bit more reserved aries and maybe that's what's triggered this right i feel like it's really important for you aries to remember to that people are just differently are differently and people are just different right you people are not as predictable as you think that they might be and so when you have that narrative when you think that you know people and how they work someone like this would take you for a loop aries because you wouldn't know you can't you're trying to translate their messages and you it doesn't make sense right or it just causes you to spiral and have that negative narrative and that's why you need to communicate uh aries and just take a stand and be like hey like i'm feeling this what's going on stop feeling so insecure about communicating your feelings right you should never feel bad about feeling the feelings that you have because here's the matter everyone has them everyone has feelings everyone feels those feelings right and as much as you want to admit it or not but the issue comes in or the yeah the issue comes in is when you don't talk about it when you allow those feelings to just start festering if you talk about it it shows that you're giving trust to this person of communication right now i know for some of you aries you're just so convinced five of a disc that you can't communicate with them right you feel so trapped in the situation in this eight of swords feeling like you can't do anything with this person you can't speak like you just feel like you're stuck with how the situation is right um, you feel like there's no remedy to it and i kind of again feel like that's just where your ego is coming in and not so much your intuition um where it's just like i feel like your ego is coming in and convincing you of that narrative aries because it's like this five of disc is where it's just like you just think that the world or like these people are just going to turn on you should you actually just vocalize what's going on in your head and you know i'm not going to promise you that they're not going to right they could just react badly but here's the thing i also want to point out with this polar bear card um like it says speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome now if you don't know what that means aries what how i translate it is where it's just like you speak your truth without having any type of expectation for how they're going to react because again we don't know all their feelings we don't know how other people are going to translate things they could take it in very various ways just because we're all human um but you know you have to be understanding like just because you communicate it and you're coming from a good place you still have to allow them to be human as well and have their own emotions right um but action does need to be taken in this right i can't i don't see this areas as something that you can just continue pretending like it's not happening or pretending there isn't a thing because for this to be coming so forward into this reading and kind of dominating the overall messages of this reading aries i really do get the sense that whoever this knave of cups is this knight of cups they kind of already know what's going on as well um 
especially when they come, become so present, like they literally got a card of their own in the sphere guide reading, right? None of the other signs that I've done so far have had that. Um, so I'm kind of like, I guess what I'm trying to say is Aries, if I were to be doing this reading for myself and I saw this, be like, oh, this person, like, it's one of those like clues that may not make sense to anybody but myself that I'm just like, this person already knows, right? Just for the fact that they're so present in this reading, they have an idea of what's going on, even if they don't vocalize it, because remember that hermit card is like that uh, complimentary energy for their Knight of Cups. But yeah, as I was saying, take action on this. Stop convincing yourself that you're stuck in this situation for this person, right? Stop falling victim to a negative outcome because I kind of just feel like that's a cycle of yours. I feel like it's just like there's like this fear that may have developed from your past where like maybe back in school, right? I'm only using school just because it's like this person is carrying a book, right? And just looks like a bunch of kids, right? Maybe back in school you were bullied and like never had friends and that sounds so aggressive. But like maybe like you had a friend group before Aries that like just turned on you so now you're just constantly distrustful and constantly finding ways to just not open up to people or trying to constantly find ways to justify why you carry a knife with you when in actuality you're gonna be you're sh like it's like no matter who it is like no matter what ju your justification is if you're hugging a friend if you're connecting with someone on that intimate level it's kind of weird for you to be bringing forward that knife if anything i kind of feel like it looks worse on you at that point right because it's just it's like it's all, all under false pretenses. And that's kind of like this overall message of this Aries is like, don't make take action off of false pretenses. Communicate, talk about this, because I feel like it's going to be insanely healing for you. I feel like once you actually start talking about it and go through that snake spirit time to heal, that's when you have this Ace of Cups moment that I want to address, where it's just like your cup runneth over, right? It's where you start having a lot more fulfillment when it comes to your connection um, with this person, right? I feel like once you put a rest to this, it's going to not only um, take off such a heavy burden of that Ten of Wands for that connection that you have with this Knave of Cups, but it's also going to probably heal a long cycle that's been going on in your life for such a long time. Um, because I really was just getting that impression. So Aries, we talked about all that heavy energy. Let's see if we can get any type of idea of blessings to come for you, Aries, before we close this reading out. Let's see. All right. So, uh, did we? Yeah. So Aries, we pulled three more cards for you. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I see, I, what I see for you, Aries, I see for you finally being able to move on from a cycle. I see you finally, like, once you release this weight, because I, I still feel like it's kind of together, I, once you're able to release that Ten of Wands weight and move on from that cycle and heal from that cycle, that's when you're going to have not only thriving connections um, where you have that equal give and take, where it's just very much so just like a... What's the word for it? Just connections that help facilitate growth, Aries, for both of you guys, but for yourself as well. Nine of Pentacles. That's when you start getting reconnecting to your spirit guide, right? The owl comes in. That's when you're able to be a lot more self-sufficient and just be a lot happy, just like extremely content with life, right? So basically, it seems like what's coming for you is just a lot of mental clarity, a lot of mental weights just being taken off of your shoulders. So I'm really excited for you, Aries. So that's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Aries. And then share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.